Okay, this is the speaking test of the International English Language Testing System taking place on Thursday the 6th of August. Centre number DDE120 and the candidate is Sarah Odema. The candidate number is 01313458. The examiner is Samson Seas. Examiner number 443533. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Samson. Would you please tell me your full name? My name is Sarah Odema. Thank you. Um, may I see your identification? Sure. Please? Thank you. In the first part of the exam, I will ask you some personal questions. Are you a student or do you work now? Presently, I am working as a teacher. Okay. And uh, why did you choose this job? I chose to become a teacher because uh, I felt like teaching is part of me. And when I am in the classroom, uh, I really feel happy that I help my students improve themselves in a wide range of areas. And what I like most about teaching is I feel like I'm elevating the level, the, the level of the knowledge of my students. Okay. Now, is there anything about your job you would like to change? Not really. However, uh, when I come to think of the payment, uh, I wish I could go back in time and opt for another career uh, because of the low payment. Sometimes it really brings me down and it's the thing that really keeps me frustrated all the time. Right. I'd like to move on and ask you some questions about shopping. Who does most of the shopping in your household? Well, actually, it's not only one person who does the, ch the shopping for the household. I would say it's a shared responsibility and everyone has, has a role to play in the household. So we, sh we always tend to go shopping together. Okay. And what type of shopping do you like and why? What I like most about shopping when it comes to shopping is uh, buying presents for my friends or maybe people's birthdays or even Christmas. Uh, my favorite store is a bookstore, which is in the list of my top priority. And uh, I believe if I buy a book for someone, it is not only considered a gift, but also I can help that person gain another piece of knowledge. So it makes me, it, it brings me a great sense of satisfaction. Great. And is shopping a popular activity in your country? Why, why not? It is indeed. Uh, on Thursdays and Fridays, people pour into the streets and shopping centers. Uh, it is considered uh, more as a leisure activity than just, they are not aiming to buy something practical. So I see that most teenage teenagers and people go shopping, go sometimes window shopping, or they wander around the mall. So I don't think they buy something practical for... Okay, so what type of shops do teenagers like best in your country? Well, I haven't thought about this before, but uh, obviously like any other teenagers, they are much more into shopping clothes, makeup to beautify themselves, or maybe some music stuffs, and these kind of things. Right. Okay, let's talk about films. How often do you go to the cinema? To be honest with you, I don't even get to go to the movies. Uh, I only manage to watch one to two films every week. And after a long day of teaching, what I love most is, you know, snuggling up on a sofa and watch my favorite film, which really helps me unwind. I usually do this on Fridays. Right. And what type of films do you like best? I'm very much into drama and historical movies because it can help me gain a better understanding of the historical uh, events in the past and even about the human emotions in the past. So uh, I believe there is always something to learn from the past events, historical events, and even to pass it on to the upcoming generations in the future. Wonderful. Okay, that is the end of part one. We'll now move on to part two. I'm going to give you a topic 
and I'd like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Before you talk, you'll have one minute to think about what you're going to say, and you can make notes if you wish. Do you understand? Yes. Wonderful. Here's your paper. Thank you. The pencil. And here is your topic. You now have one minute to make notes. Okay, you'll now have two minutes to speak about your topic. Don't worry if the time is over, uh, I will stop you after the two minutes. You may start speaking now. I would like to talk about the time uh, after when I graduated from high school. It was at the peak of summer when uh, I had to study really hard for the senior grade of high school. Uh, on that year, I had to sacrifice everything and give up on all the joys and to somehow step out of my comfort zone. Uh, despite all of this, I managed to keep a high spirit because I knew that this would end very quickly and on top of all that, this would mark a significant milestone on that year. So I burned the midnight oil for months on end and after a couple of months, when I grabbed my certificate in hand, it was, I was like over the moon. And I could, uh, I get the feeling that all the sufferings have come to an end. And uh, it was like the time to open a new page of my life. And uh, for this reason, my parents were so proud of me to throw a graduation party for me. And uh, to move on more to the details, uh, I can say that this party was only a dinner party, uh, which only included my own family and some of my friends. My parents invited a uh, musical band to perform my favorite songs. And we all had a blast together on that night. And at the end, everyone congratulated me and wished me a successful college year ahead. And I was really proud of myself on that night, uh, which marked an indelible moment for me that I will treasure forever, I think. And uh, I am really looking forward for the college life in the future. Thank you very much. That is the end of part two. Two minutes is over. I will take your papers back right now. Thank you very much. And the paper you have there, yeah. the topic, thank you. We'll now move on to part three. So we've been talking about an important event in your life, and I'd now like to ask you some questions related to this. Here we go. What days are important in your country? Uh, the, most, uh, the majority of, the, of our population are Muslims, and that is why uh, Muslims tend to celebrate Eids and as a, uh, as a national festival. And it's like a huge celebration. They sometimes pay and repay the visit uh, to one another. And um, sometimes they buy some new clothes and they cook some uh, special cuisines on that day. And uh, it is considered a happy moment on that day. Wow, and why is it important to have national celebrations? Uh, when I come to think of it, national celebrations can boost the unity among nations. 
And, uh, and another thing about these national festivals is the great advantage that it uh, it is an over it gives an overview of it reflects an overview uh, of the attitude of gratitude and enjoying every uh, thing that we own, everything we have, instead of the things that we don't or that we want in the future. So it's a great moment to be grateful for what we have. And how is the way your national celebrations are celebrated now different from the way they were celebrated in the past? Actually, I am not uh, very into the celebrations that have happened, that uh, people used to have in the past. But uh, about today, I think uh, people tend to uh, care a lot more about some private parties that people in the past didn't used to have. It's something that uh, people in the past, uh, I think, used to celebrate more indoors, whereas today people are celebrating outdoors with their friends. Uh, like teenagers, they are, you know, more reluctant than ever to celebrate these uh, national festivals with their family members or relatives, they like to have their own independent lives and uh, enjoy themselves independently. Okay, and are there any celebrations from other countries that you celebrate in your country? Absolutely. Recently, we can uh, easily see that people are celebrating some celebrations that are not part of their culture, like, for example, Valentine's Day or uh, the Halloween's Day. They are not part of our culture. And despite all of this, they are, they are celebrating it at a large scale. Right. And what are the benefits of having events that many people around the world are celebrating on the same day. In my opinion, uh, there are a lot of positive aspects involved in this uh, global events. It reminds us of the fact that we are all, all the people around the world are humans and uh, we all have the same values, no matter what race, religion, entity or um, or no matter who we are, we are all uh, sharing this world together to celebrate together. And uh, do you think any new national celebrations will come into being in the future? Uh, it's a good question. Uh, I would say yes, because we have seen so many celebrations that have been added to our daily lives through history. And uh, the future is not an exception. We can expect any new festival to be added in the future. Okay, thank you very much. That is the end of the speaking test. Um, everything is spot on. Your, your use of grammar is very much like a native speaker. The way you use it and your vocabulary, your vocabulary is absolutely, that is spot on too. I like the way you uh, uh, use it. Your use of vocabulary is very wide. It's, it's got a great variety. And I would definitely say that you're a, you're a band nine because you're ticking all the boxes that the examiners want in this IELTS speaking test. I mean, when you had these, uh, you had a few pauses in between, but that's what a native speaker would do. They would, they would pause in between and uh, obviously move on to the rest of their story because uh, you were thinking about your story. You were not looking for uh, a, a new choice of words or any idioms which you were, very, you, you were using naturally in, in some of your answers. Um, you use them exactly where they, they were supposed to be used. You weren't using too much of them because we, we get this a lot, uh, mm -hmm. especially over here. We have a lot of examiners saying, the more idioms you use, the better that's going to give you points. That, that's, that's not the case at all. They don't, the examiner doesn't want to see someone talking more complicated. They want to see that you're natural. That's why we, we call it uh, coherence. Coherence is, 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 your, is your natural way of speaking, to be something close to a native speaker, being, being fluent. Mm -hmm. And your pronunciations are all absolutely perfect, 100% spot on. So you really don't have any trouble uh, gaining this, this band nine. You are naturally a band nine. And you're speaking loudly, that obviously helps a lot. Um, if, if I was going to tell you to be any 
better than you are now, make any improvements for this test. I would say just speak slightly slower to uh, just, you know, just to keep eye of the time or think about the time because uh, obviously you have two minutes to speak in, the, in, in part two. And part three, uh, the, there are questions, but if you answer these questions too fast, then you're going to obviously limit yourself. And it, it's just better may, maybe to stick to the first three answers and think what you're going to say more. Just elaborate on it more. That's all you have to do. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say go after more vocabulary. I wouldn't say uh, work on your grammar because they're all spot on. They're all perfect. And you're, you're very articulate. You're very completely crisp understandable and uh, is there any questions you'd like to ask uh, no thank you uh, about the coherence and uh, uh, the fluency uh, was it fine the flu fluency that's what I, I was saying fluency was absolutely uh, spot on I mean that was something very impressive and, and close to what any native speaker would do mm -hmm. and it, it, the pauses are just uh, topic related they're not at all language related from mm -hmm. what I'm looking at they're all uh, they're all in place your pronunciations are perfect um, your uh, your use of vocabulary was very impressive because that, that's obviously going to be examined too mm -hmm. and when you have this uh, wide range of uh, vocabulary you're going to uh, have less self repetition which you absolutely did not have I mean, if you were rep uh, trying to repeat yourself, you're trying to fix your sentence because that happens. Uh, this is not a news bulletin. We're, we're having a, a normal conversation here. Um, so that all I would say is that definitely just take care of the speed. Um, you can, you've got room to slow down a little bit. You don't have to rush it. This is just, it's not a race. It's, it's just a conversation uh, split up into three parts. Obviously, part two being... Uh, more like a monologue, followed by part three, which is the uh, follow-up of the of, of part two. It's just elaborating more on the uh, related topic. Um, you seem to know very much uh, what you were talking about, and you were very comfortable comfortable with the topics that you were given.